Hi, I am Dr. Sakshi Arora Hans, your Ops and Gynae faculty and your mentor. This podcast is today for the FMG students who are going to give their exams on 31st of August. But you the last 40 days of your preparation and then you appear for the exam for which you are waiting for such a long time. A very very important day in your life. and for this important day the countdown has begun i have already shared a detailed plan with you how and what you will be studying in these last 40 days i hope all of you are following the three meal plan don't give up don't give in there is an answer to everything don't let the fear and anxiety get in your way You have worked hard for this. These 40 days should add to your strength. It should add to your preparation and not ruin it. Think positively, bachcho. You are very close to your dreams, very close to the finish line. Don't let negative thoughts ruin this. I know so many of you will be repeatedly haunted by the fact that you are forgetting what you are learning. the fear of not performing well will be dooming on you repeatedly questions like what if i don't know the questions which are asked in the exam what if i don't qualify this time what if i don't pass and what am i going to tell to my parents my family my friends these thoughts are natural and this is happening not just with you this is happening with everyone The only difference is how you take it. Do you take it as a challenge to do better or do you let these negative thoughts cast a shadow in your mind and ruin your preparation? But you all of us have the same brain. All of the capacity of brain in each of us is same. Each of us has the same number of neurons. Now why I'm telling you this is that this means that each of us has the capability to become a topper you are as capable as any topper so rather than letting these negative thoughts come in your mind let these positive thoughts come in your mind maybe you are the next topper i know all of you would be wondering that everyone tells you to get rid of the negative thoughts and to replace them by positive thoughts but no one tells you how to do it so let me tell you the method which i adopt whenever i have negative thoughts i talk to myself as if i talk would talk to a friend for example suppose if your friend says that i think i'm not going to pass this time tell me honestly what will you say will you say yes i also think so you will not pass so you should give up or will you say अरे कैसी बात करता है यू आर ट्राइंग योर बेस्ट जस्ट कीप ट्राइंग एंड लीव द रेस्ट टू गॉड आई एम प्रिटी श्योर यू आर गोइंग टू से वॉट आई सेट द सेकेंड टाइम यू आर नॉट गोइंग टू डिस्करेज योर फ्रेंड यू आर गोइंग टू इनकरेज योर फ्रेंड सो वेन यू कैन इनकरेज योर फ्रेंड वाई डोंट यू इनकरेज योर सेल्फ वाई डू यू ऑलवेज लुक फॉर इनकरेजमेंट फ्रॉम आउटसाइड be your best friend don't be harsh on yourself and don't let these negative thoughts come in your way just keep trying don't give up don't give in there is an answer to everything just follow the plan which i had shared with you focus on it and just in case you are not following the three meal plan which i had given to you it's okay make your own plan and stick to it the bottom line here is sticking to your plan and the best way to stick to your plan is to tell the plan or to share the plan rather with someone else the best person to share your plan is your parents make use of this lockdown share your plan with your parents and tell them to inquire from you whether you were able to complete your plan or not now the apart from motivating you i also want 
to give you some advices which will be helpful in these last 40 days number 1 cut yourself from those people who try to demotivate you i'm sure all of you must have watched the movie three idiots there was a dialogue in the movie three idiots which stands so true the dialogue was hame bahut bura lagta hai jab dost fail hota hai par usse bhi zyada bura tab lagta hai jab dost first aata hai so don't get surrounded by fake people who are trying to demotivate you who are trying to act as a barrier in your study just because they cannot study they are trying to take you also away from doing the right thing just stay away from such people next thing which i want you to do is make your parents a part of your journey believe me they'll be very happy in doing so make them your mentor and you will not need any other mentor now but you apart from motivating you in this podcast i also want to tell you certain do's and don'ts in these last 40 days first and foremost all of you are going to now give at least 12 to 14 hours in a day for your study this is minimum which is required now when i say you are going to put in 12 to 14 hours i do not mean that you are going to put these 12 to 14 hours at a stretch maximum stretch will be one and a half to two hours after one and a half to two hours you have to take a break and if you are following the three meal plan the plan is as per this only after every one and a half or two hours i have given you a break next very important do is that when you are studying you are going to wear your shoes and socks you are going to sit on a table and then study now why i am telling to you wear your shoes and socks is because while you are studying so many times it happens that you feel let the bed let me go on my bed and i'll complete this last paragraph while i'm lying down believe me that last paragraph which would have been completed in 5 to 10 minutes on the table the moment you go on the bed it will take 20 25 minutes to complete it because then you will become lazy so in the morning wear your shoes and socks sit on a table study and remove your shoes and socks only at night so that you can resist the temptation of lying down by resisting this temptation daily you will be saving your one one and a half hours which otherwise would go waste and you won't even notice next very important instruction is that many of you have this habit of studying late till night and then getting up late what you have to do now in these 40 days is you have to get prepared for the final day and final day exam is going to be in the morning hours and morning hours if you are not fresh then that could be a big disaster so in these 40 days please get into the habit of sleeping at 12 o'clock and getting up at 6 or 6 30 in the morning so that your mind is fresh on the final day of your exams take a walk in morning and evening to clear the negative thoughts don't talk to your friends to clear the negative thoughts that will not help rather you will get more anxious best way of getting rid of negative thoughts is taking a walk in the morning or evening time eat small frequent meals avoid fatty food because fatty food can be over fulfilling and then that can put you off to sleep so don't overload yourself otherwise you can go to sleep eat small frequent meals and have fruits in between a very important piece of advice is don't leave any subject even if you are unable to complete the entire subject that's okay but don't leave any subject if possible attend rapid revision sessions of those subject if it is being done on youtube by any faculty 
Now that also reminds me that I have to tell you that I will be conducting a rapid revision session of Hobbes and Kahini on the 6th and the 7th of August on YouTube. In this rapid revision session, which although I'm saying it's rapid revision, it will be a four to five hour session of Gaini and four to five hour session of Ops. So don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and don't forget to listen to those sessions on 6th and 7th of August. On 14th of August, I will be conducting an image-based session and an instrument session for all the FMGE students. On the day of your exam, don't leave any questions. Although you have to just clear the exam, but your aim should be to get 200 plus. And for that, you don't have to leave any question. Last but not the least, take care of yourself. Take care of yourself because these 40 days are most crucial days and you cannot afford to get sick. So take proper care of yourself. Take at least six hours of sleep and always be surrounded by positive thoughts. Bacho, kai jeet baki hai, kai haar baki hai. Abhi zindagi ka saar baki hai. यहां से चले हैं नई मंजिल के लिए ये तो एक पन्ना है अभी तो पूरी किताब बाकी है रिमेंबर दिस इज जस्ट द बिगिनिंग एंड यू आर नॉट गोइंग टू गिव अप ऑल ऑफ यू आर गोइंग टू डू वेल जस्ट हैव फेथ एंड डोंट गिव अप डोंट गिव इन देयर इज एन आंसर टू एवरीथिंग गॉड ब्लेस यू ऑल ऑल द बेस्ट